Well, now this morning, a number of West Hartford families are waking up in hotels this morning. Yeah, they were forced out of their homes after raw sewage flooded into their neighborhoods and into their basements. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Nuclo is live on Lindbrook Road, where they're still working to clean that up this morning, right, Kate? A busy night here in this West Hartford neighborhood. You can see crews are still here working. They brought in a lot of heavy machinery. There are pipes running up and down this street. Water is constantly being pumped out. One of the big things that they're still trying to figure out, they know that the sewage pipe was blocked with something, but they still don't know what clogged it. This is video you will only see on three of a MDC worker being lowered into a sewage pipe trying to find the blockage. The water was still too high, so minutes later they sent a camera down. The clogged pipe sent hundreds of gallons of raw sewage into people's homes. Yesterday, basements were being pumped out for hours, and these pipes were set up in the neighborhood to reroute the sewage around that blocked pipe while crews worked to sterilize the streets. Now, homeowners say they're anxious just for answers and want life to get back to normal. They've been good to work with so far. If they stay that way, you know, I, I understand you can't always control for every accident, but hopefully they do the right thing. As you take another live look at the scene here, crews are expected to be here throughout the day. They even had to actually add some dirt and some metal here to make sort of a ramp so that folks could just get out of their driveway this morning if they have to head to work. So a big mess here. There's no clear timeline on when they will know what caused this. But of course, we will bring you that updated new information as soon as we get it here on the air and also on the Channel 3 app. We're live in West Hartford, Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.